The Kettleers traveled out to Stony Brook Field on Saturday night to take on the Brewster Whitecaps in their first matchup of the season. The offense got off to another early start as AJ Gracia singled to left field for the Kets' first run of the ball game. On the mound for the Kettleers was Ben Jacobs from Arizona State. The left-hander was dominant as he pitched three innings of one-hit baseball. Jacobs also struck out five in his time on the hill. Jacobs was able to mix and match, keeping the white cap hitters off balance and guessing all night. Jacobs has made two starts this season and pitched five innings for the Kettleers. In his five innings, he's only allowed one hit while he struck out eight in his time on the mound. Opponent, opposing batters are only hitting for a 125 average off the left-handed pitcher. The Cats got their second run of the night when they had two runners on the pond for Tyler Cerny. Cerny grinded a ball to third for a sure double play, but the third baseman sailed the ball into right field for a run. In the same inning, Grant Jay hit a high fly ball to center field for a sure out to get the Whitecaps out of the inning, but the center fielder dropped the ball, which allowed two Kelly runners to score, making the lead 4-0 at the time. With the lead now stretched to four, all the pitching staff had to do was throw strikes and maintain the lead, and they did just that. With the help of some top-notch defense and superb pitching, the Kets defense only allowed one run for the entire game. Bridging the gap between Jacobs and the closer was Joey Volchko. Volchko pitched two and a third innings where he allowed only two hits. The right-hander allowed the only run of the ball game, but he also struck out four while he was on the mound. The Kettleer defense was highlighted by some diving plays in left field by Nathan Hall, and also a 1-3-6 double play to get the Kettleers out of the fifth inning. The Kets played another run in the fifth inning when Jaron to Evan Kula was up to bat. Evan Kula singled to left field as both runners were stealing on the play, making it easy for the Kets to score from second base. The Kets played their final run of the game in the eighth inning. Devin Taylor, with two outs, roped the ball into the left center gap and easily ended up at third base. This would be Taylor's second hit of the night as he got on base three times with three walks as well. Taylor would then come home in the next at bat. A wild pitch from the Brewster Whitecap pitcher allowed Taylor to easily score from third base. Jacob Schaefer came in the game to close it out and he punched the Whitecaps out in order to steal the deal for the Cats. As a whole, the three pitchers used in tonight's contest struck out 13 white cap hitters. Katua is now winners of their last three games and they will take on the Chatham Anglers Sunday night in Lowell Park.